Hi friends, welcome to Azure Content. This is part 6 in common errors in ADF playlist. In this video, we will try to learn how to mitigate this issue for each activity do not run in parallel. So what happens is whenever we want to run multiple iterations of any activity, like for example, if we want to copy multiple tables from one source to destination then we try to include that uh, copy activity inside for each activity right so in that process either we can run the for each activity in sequential order that means one iteration of copy activity will be completed then only it will go to the next iteration or else the other way is to run all the iterations in parallel of course there is a limitation to it by default it is 20 iterations at once you can run it and maximum number of iterations that you can run in parallel is 50 in for each activity okay so usually uh, if you turn on this sequential option inside for each activity you can run the inner activities inside for each in sequential order and if you do not turn on this sequential option then all the activities will run in parallel okay but sometimes even though our intention is to run the inner activities in parallel we might land up with this error or rather warning which says all the activities inside the for each loop will be run sequentially and each run pipeline activity will wait on completion for debugging purposes for triggered runs the for each loop will use the defined batch count for parallel runs. So basically it means that even though you have not selected sequential option, still it is giving us a warning that for each will iterate through the inner activities sequentially. Okay. And it will wait on completion for one iteration and then only it will trigger the next iteration. If you want to run it in parallel, then you need to go for triggered runs okay so this is what it means so the question is when can we expect this warning actually whenever for each activity is having execute pipeline activity inside it then it does not run parallelly in debug mode so if we try to run it in debug mode then only you will face this kind of warning only if you are using execute pipeline activity inside for each this error or this warning does not come up with other activities if you are using copy activity set variable activity wait activity anything it won't come up but if it is accompanied with execute pipeline activity or if execute pipeline activity is alone present inside for each activity you might see this error or warning if you run the pipeline in debug mode okay so if your intention is to run the activities in parallel then execute the pipeline with trigger mode okay so we will see this in practical so i have this pipeline called pipeline 15 where i have a lookup which is pointing to sql database and it is fetching the information of all the tables that i want to copy and here we are iterating through the output of lookup activity and here you can see the sequential option is turned off so it means i want to uh, execute the pipeline in parallel okay so if you see inside for each activity i have an execute pipeline activity which is running pipeline 16 where there is a copy activity which, which is taking the data from sql and copying it into my azure data lake storage so it is supposed to uh, copy multiple files into this folder called copy output folder so currently i do not have any uh, folder named copy output folder it should create it on the fly and it should load the data into this table so i am expecting that there are three tables actually if you see if i run this lookup activity alone i have uh, added this debug point into lookup activity and it should only run till this point okay so let's see yeah so pipeline execution is succeeded you can see lookup activity is giving me three count so these three tables person dot contact type sales dot sales person and production dot unit measure these three tables i'm expecting to be copied into azure data lake storage uh, as a three folders and inside these three folders there should be three files okay respectively so my intention is to run uh, the three parallel execution of copy activity uh, but let's see if we try to debug it is it letting me to debug 
uh, in parallel or not so if i hit on debug let's see if we are getting warning or not so you can see we are getting this warning it's saying starting pipeline 15 all the activities let me check here all the activities inside the for each loop will run sequentially and each run will wait on completion for debugging purpose for triggered runs the for each loop will use the defined batch count for parallel execution so if we see uh, the execute pipeline output you can see one copy activity succeeded and it might have ex started execution of second one you can see now the second one has started and third one still pending uh, once second one will be completed then only it will trigger the third execute pipeline activity second one is still in progress and if we see here you can see the output folder has been created and till now two folders is created and the second one is still in progress so now the second one got completed and now it will start the third iteration so now you can see it is waiting for completion of one iteration then only it is triggering the next iteration so you can see now two files got successfully copied you can see as a csv file it is present inside each of the folders and now third folder would be created soon you can see third folder is also created now so basically our intention was to run each of the execute pipeline activity in parallel still it did not run in parallel it threw this error or warning saying that this execution will happen sequentially if you want to run in parallel then go for triggered runs right so let me try to do the same thing using trigger mode okay but before that let me try to delete this folder so that we can see uh, the execution clearly okay so now the folder has been deleted now let's try to execute the pipeline via triggered mode okay so i'm hitting on trigger now and we can monitor it here you can click directly here view pipeline run and here you can see all the three execute pipeline activity got triggered parallelly and you can see all of these are in progress so if we see the execution in detail you can see copy activity is in progress for each one of them one is already succeeded but all of these three started in parallel and if i hit on refresh you can see copy output folder got created and all the three folders also created in parallel okay so run also got succeeded and it took very less time comparatively it took only 27 seconds at max uh, because all of these three started execution in parallel so parallelly it took 27 seconds and if we go to debug mode output you can see individually it took 23 seconds then it started next execution 46 seconds and then it started for this one which took 27 seconds so the point i'm trying to make here is if you are trying to use execute pipeline activity inside for each activity in debug mode it will not execute the pipeline or it will not execute the activity inside for each activity in parallel order it will execute it in sequential order if your inner pipeline is having execute pipeline activity but suppose here i would not have added any execute pipeline activity it would have any other activity so suppose i am trying to merge these two pipelines into single pipeline okay so uh, what i will do is i will cut this copy activity and i will uh, instead of having execute pipeline here in first pipeline i will directly call this copy activity okay so here you can see uh, i require query and which is coming from this pipeline parameter and these are passed here as item dot query item dot table schema item dot name so same thing i will pass directly into the copy activity instead of passing it as a parameter into the child pipeline so let me delete this and let me uh, copy or cut this and let me paste it in the first pipeline itself in the parent pipeline and wherever we were using uh, pipeline parameter so here it should point to item dot query okay and similarly in sync we have parameterized table schema 
so I will just use item dot table underscore schema and similarly here item dot table underscore name right so item dot table underscore name so we are good now this for each activity is not using any execute pipeline activity and now even if we try to hit debug we will see if it is executing the uh, copy activity in parallel or not because our intention is to run it in parallel mode and we have not set this sequential option as true because we want to run it in parallel but it was not happening when we were using execute pipeline activity right so let me clear this output folder first so that we can see what is happening yeah so the container is deleted so now let's try to execute this pipeline in debug mode so let's wait just remember that it is not calling pipeline 16 now it does not have any activity we have cut it uh, we have cut the copy activity and pasted it here so now you can see even though we have uh, turned the so now you can see even though we have ran it from debug mode all the three copy activities are running in parallel okay all of these are in queue okay but the same was not happening with execute pipeline activity so you can see all the three got succeeded also within uh, 16 seconds so if we hit on refresh you can see the folder has got created and all the three uh, inner folders subfolders have also created and it has loaded the data as well okay so i hope you could sense what happened exactly so earlier we we tried to run the same pipeline but inside for each we were using execute pipeline activity and that time when we hit on debug it did not run the execute pipeline activities in parallel but now we have replaced execute pipeline activity with directly the copy activity which was there in the child pipeline earlier and this time even if we tried to uh, use debug mode it did not uh, gave the same warning and it ran the activity in parallel okay so the point here is whenever you are trying to use or leverage execute pipeline activity inside for each activity just keep in mind that if you try to run it via debug mode it will not run in parallel execution it will have it in sequential order if you want to run the activities in parallel then you should go for triggered execution that means you need to trigger the pipeline instead of debugging the pipeline okay so that's it for this video guys i hope you like the video please hit on like button and please subscribe to my channel if you haven't done it yet thank you